Got some post delivered to me today. It was... <laughs> oh, this is This great. makes it in the diary. Got some post delivered to me today. It was addressed to Mr Dilkington. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Oh, God. <laughs> I got some post delivered to me today. It was addressed to Mr Dilkington. <laughs> I opened it and the first sentence read, Dear Mr. K. Dilkington, you're one of our most valuable customers. I put it in the bin. Thought I would learn some new words, as Steve always says I don't use enough different words. I read in the Fortean Times that the word "wew" means an ugly female ghost with drooping breasts. <laughs> Is what? that how I'm, am I pronouncing Who's that right? Who's using that you, word? Woo, woo, Who is woo. using that it word? Was, it was just W-E-W-E. -E. Let's call it a woo. Mm. An ugly female ghost with drooping breasts. <laughs> I think I'm right when I say there are too many words in the world. I don't think I will ever get round to using the word woo. Watched a health programme. Wasn't watching it properly, but heard some doctors say that we only get so many heartbeats in a lifetime, so don't do too much exercise. I told Suzanne, and she said I probably hadn't heard it right. We got talking about death. Suzanne said she didn't like thinking about it. I said she might end up being a woo. <laughs> I was chuffed as I'd managed to use my new word. I went to the supermarket to get tonight's tea. On the way, I stopped and looked in the fishmongers at all the different fish they had in the window. It's like a child in, like, in one of those kids' TV shows. I know! Mr. Kil Mr Pilkington went to the fishmonger. He stopped and looked at all the fish in the window. Hello, Mr Dilkington, they said. <laughs> There was a newspaper clipping stuck on the glass about a two-headed fish that they've made in Taiwan. I don't see the point in doing this, as a fish having two heads ain't going to solve the world's hunger problems, as the head is the bit you throw away. Invent a fish with two bodies, and I'd say well done. Good point, though, isn't it? Suzanne watched one of her favourite TV programmes. I've told her the telly only goes on if there's something she wants to watch. If there's nothing on, she has to talk to me about stuff I've learnt. Like Descartes. Watched a programme on him the other day. He is the one who said something like, I know I'm about because I dream. Doesn't work for everything because ants don't sleep. <laughs> I don't know if I'd like that or not. You don't know if you would like it if you didn't ever I'm sleep. Not sleeping. It's just one long day. I don't know. Don't know how you put up with that. Do you think it'd be a good idea? No. Why not? <laughs> because, as you said, it would get a bit boring, you know, you'd... Sleep is your rest, your time off. It it, it, it helps you uh, detoxify. It helps you sort of um, think things through on a subconscious level. It, it, you know, but don't it, you ever get it where... I mean, sometimes it's brilliant to have a sleep when you're tired, but don't you sometimes yeah, feel that's like... that's the best time to have a sleep when yeah. you're tired. No, yeah. but sometimes when you go to bed and you're not that tired and you're kind of thinking, oh, I'm going to waste some hours of my life now and I'm not really in the mood for this Well, sleeping. that's just wishing you had longer on this earth doing creative things. I mean, if you didn't have to sleep, you could spend more time talking to a tortoise and going to the toffee shop. 